Welcome back to my channel, guys. Today we're gonna to talk about the cost of groceries in New Zealand compared to the US. Now this is probably the number one question I get from people on social media and just clients of mine that have just asked like, it sounds so expensive to live there. Can I afford that? If I get a job, am I going to be able to afford to live? Now that's a hard question to answer because everybody's standard of living is a little bit different. But today we're gonna to tackle one of the big costs, groceries. And you're not gonna to wanna to miss it because you're gonna be surprised at what I found. Before we dive in, let's talk a little bit how I came up with the numbers. So I picked a mid-range grocery store in both countries. New Zealand has nationalized grocery stores, so that was easy. I went with Countdown. Uh, it's the mid-priced one. And then in the US, it's all over the place, depending on which state you're in, what they have, you know. And then I'm not gonna use Walmart, the most, the cheapest, and I'm not gonna use Whole Foods, the most expensive. So I just picked the Piggly Wiggly. Yeah, there's a grocery store called Piggly Wiggly. Shop the pig is their tagline. Like what was going on in that boardroom when they came up with, anyway, enough on that. So I did Piggly Wiggly because it's a mid range and it's also different prices depending on where you live. So it's a little bit complicated, but I just thought let's pick some and like, let's compare it because in my mind, when I visited the US, I thought, man, I feel like this food is more expensive than in New Zealand. And so I just wanted to compare it a little bit. And so I went through some common food items and everything is like, I generally used KGs otherwise, uh, unless I specified otherwise. Um, and then I have the price in US dollars and New Zealand dollars for each store. So you can see it and you can kind of see the difference. And I think you're gonna be surprised. So here we go. All right, so let's just jump right in. I also wanna note that if you're not aware, the US dollar is very strong compared to the New Zealand dollar. So just keep that in mind as well. But I have used the currency exchange uh, formula that's in Google Docs. So you could check that out below if you want. Okay, so bread. I'm gonna quote everything in New Zealand dollars. So a loaf of bread and I just, I didn't do the cheapest cheapest, but I did kind of like a little bit nicer, like what people probably typically buy and what I would buy in both countries. Uh, and so the bread at Countdown in New Zealand was $1.50 New Zealand dollars, which is equivalent to the Piggly Wiggly version of $5.05 New Zealand. Quite a big difference, the bread. Now, of course there's variety and there's choices and there's different stores, like if you wanna to go to Walmart or whatever, but I found that the US dollar Piggly Wiggly equivalent bread to what I was looking at at Countdown was $2.89 US dollars, which is equivalent to $5 New Zealand, so that's crazy. Anyway, let's go to flour. So like a common baking item that we all need. I did one kg of flour, $1.47 at Countdown New Zealand. Um, and it is five dollars and fifteen cents in the pig at the pig in the u.s so i was like oh gosh that's quite a bit more okay so let me go through these quite quickly so i'm not boring you in this really long video so an apple and i'm just picking things randomly you guys can do this yourselves you can go on you know piggly wiggly website countdown and you can do it yourself <laughs> and you can pick out the exact items that you buy but this is just an idea in one apple so this is the price for one apple is a dollar in new zealand is two dollars and 25 cent new zealand in the u.s for the equivalent same same type of app at one kg bag of potatoes that's washed so these are like the cheapest one the washed potatoes one kg bag two dollars and 99 cents in new zealand three dollars and 79 cent new zealand in the u.s at the pig milk one liter a dollar 96 for one liter in the u.s the con conversion is three dollars and 47 cents so i just was like i knew the prices were higher in the u.s but i didn't expect this so so those are a couple of them. Let's continue and you'll start noticing some differences. So let's talk about meat. Okay, so we have ground mince is what they call it here in New Zealand or ground beef in the US. So one kg of ground mince is $17 in New Zealand um, and the equivalent is $15.31 in the US. And so meat is a little bit cheaper. Although, you know, how the meat is um, processed and what their animals eat can be quite different. So that all depends. This was just, I just did like a, a mid range, like same two products that I would have bought in each one. They're, they're not premium, they're not organic, 
okay? But they're just like the basic level. But then a chicken breast, one kg of chicken breast, $15, as opposed to $19.17 in the US. And so, so ground beef, a little bit more expensive, chicken breast, a little bit cheaper, but roughly the same. I mean, a couple dollars difference. A 12 pack of eggs uh, in New Zealand is $6 and in the US is $7.32. So still a little bit more in the US, not a ton more. And then rice. So there's so many choices of rice. I went with jasmine rice. So one kg of jasmine rice is $3.30 in New Zealand countdown and $6.44 in the Piggly Wiggly. And that was their generic version. I am using the generic version when I can um, in the pig. Um, and so another thing to note <laughs> is it's really funny. It's hard to find the generic. They're definitely trying to sell you the name brands on the first page. So I, you have to do a little bit of digging. So that's interesting. And it's also interesting to note that in the US when I'm shopping, when like I type in simple things like, rice or flour and I'm not getting flour. I'm getting like, you know, pre-packaged things like rice cakes. There was like pages of rice cakes before I got to rice. So it's interesting because I think it's either like what they sell more of or what they want to push or maybe they have a lot of inventory. I don't know. Comment below if you're a grocery person and you know. Okay, so let's move on to a couple other here. Let me scroll down. Let's talk cereal. Okay, so there is a lot of the same, there's, okay. There's a lot of cereal in the US and it's a lot of choices, but I picked, um, you'll see what I did. Okay, so I did the special K cereal. They have the same size box, the same everything. Although it's really annoying in the US, there was like 16 different varieties of the special K. Like, can you just give me the original one? Cause in New Zealand, you're only getting one choice. So the special K, the one 300 gram box, is $7.60 New Zealand. It is $7.84 in the US, so roughly the same price, um, but a little bit more expensive, oddly, in the US because, you know, with shipping, you'd think it was more here. Okay, and then how about a bag of oats? So, um, like oatmeal, you know, oats, it's like a bag of quick oats, um, one kg of it, $4.60 here in New Zealand. It's $15.33 in the US when you do the currency difference. So that was really surprising. Um, and just so you know, for the oats, it was the Quaker oats, like that barrel that they sell and, you know, calculated the to a kg with their price, you know. So I think New Zealand has a little bit of advantage where like they generally will package in a kg and so, the quantity enables the price to be a little bit lower. Whereas, you know, re the US is crazy. Like there's all different units of measurement on all of these <laughs> items, which made it difficult. But yeah, so $15 for oats. And obviously I think you can get it cheaper, but that's just what I found uh, doing this. If you're looking to get your business in front of new customers, I'm telling you the best place to start is with short form video. So a TikTok video, an Instagram reel, a Facebook reel, or a YouTube short. Is your business on any of these platforms already? Then just start there. You do not need fancy equipment and you just need to record and it gets easier with practice. Comment below if you would like some help on this. I just created a free course and I'll send it to you. Uh, otherwise, I'm happy to answer any questions that you have about creating short form video. If you don't know, I have been very successful on TikTok under my personal brand, Kiwi Americans, and on YouTube under the same name. And you can check those out as well, but I am here to help you be successful. In addition to that, if you are a brand that just is not interested in creating their own videos, I do UGC service. I basically create content that you can use on your channels. If you're interested in that, comment below and I'll reach out to you. Okay, I had to wait for a minute because it just downpoured here and I was like, okay, it's really loud. Okay, so let's talk about sweets. So we have some sweets that I looked at. And so I just looked at some plain M&Ms, the same size bag in both countries, $1.80 in New Zealand and two dollars and 43 cents in the u.s and i thought for sure it was going to be more expensive in new zealand because you got to ship it here but apparently not although sour patch kids three dollars fifty in new zealand two dollars and eight cents in the u.s so that's cheaper 
I don't know what the deal is with the M&Ms. They're probably produced in Australia. So anyway, I hope that was a fun video for you to think about, you know, some of the price differences. So I know a lot of you are concerned when you're, if you're moving here or visiting here, especially if you're moving here, like how expensive food is. And of course you can find it cheaper in New Zealand and you can find it cheaper in the US. This is just a mid price. I don't even shop at Countdown. I shop at Pack and Save and I know that these prices are cheaper because I buy it every week, but this will give you a good idea. So the total for um, New Zealand for all of those items together was $71 and two cents. Um, the equivalent was $89 and 95 cents in the U S so hmm, interesting, isn't it? So, I know if you're living in New Zealand and you think the food is outrageous, well, the food is outrageous probably around the world, including the US. And so I hope this was a little bit insightful and helpful. And of course you can check this on your own, whatever grocery store you go to in the US and a mid range one would be countdown, a high end one would be new world and pack and save would be your lower end. And so if you wanna check that out, if you're thinking about moving here, I think that that would be helpful. I'll see you guys next week.